Hello and welcome to what I'm told is the introduction of this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the LG NanoCell TV. Specifically, it's a 65-inch TV that uses, well, the brand's NanoCell technology. <laughs> it's the TV that LG is currently touting as a piece of home entertainment technology capable of providing a VIP experience. The VIP, by the way, stands for very impressive picture. Anyway, you're probably wondering to yourselves, but John, what's the difference between NanoCell and conventional UHD TV? They're not the same. I'll answer the second part of the question with, of course there's a difference. If there wasn't, do you think I'd be standing here in front of the camera telling you what the differences are? <clears throat> anyway, that out of the way, moving on. Like all previous generation TVs, the descriptions that they come with are usually self-explanatory. Full HD means Full HD and 4K means, well, 4K resolution. Of course, not all TVs are the same, but when they're all being sold at the same resolution, that's where brands have to start pitching the features their TVs come with. Enter the NanoCell, LG's answer to a more immersive viewing experience with color ranges that are more dynamic, deeper, and richer than the conventional UHD TV. How LG's NanoCell TVs are able to do this can be summed up in two words, pure colors. As to what that is, it's a combination of nanoparticles that are one nanometer in size. Those are designed to filter out any impurities from the color spectrum and purify them before putting them onto the screen, which is the finished result that you see behind me. So again, getting back to the question, what's the difference between this new NanoCell TV and the conventional UHD TV? Well, for starters, this isn't a 4K TV. It's an 8K panel. And yes, that is its native resolution. Now, obviously, 8K native content is difficult, if not dauntingly hard to come by. Given the lack of such content, TVs such as these have to make do with the highest commercially used resolution, which is 4K, and you guessed it, just upscale it from there. And that includes videos streamed directly from sources like YouTube, Netflix, or any other 4K videos that you may have on hand at the time. Speaking of upscaling, all that visual magic is done by the TV's onboard Alpha 9 Gen 3 AI processor that's effectively its beast of burden. It's a powerful component and certainly does its job well, while being flanked by several other features, naturally. Features that, by the way, include low input lag technology for when you game on the TV. Inevitably, that's going to happen. It is a TV. HDMI 2.1 input for if you happen to have a machine capable of outputting native 8K resolutions. And what am I forgetting? Ah, yes, HDR10 Pro and HLG Pro support. Some of you may ask, what about audio? Surely you can't expect us to be satisfied with just TV speaker. Well, you won't be left wanting, I can tell you that much, because the NanoCell TV comes with support for Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. On top of that, the NanoCell TV also features a sports function alert that well, alerts you to your favorite teams of your favorite sports and their statuses before, during, and post game. There's also the usual accoutrements that you expect from an LG TV, chief among which being the new Magic Remote, which I have here. And while it is an Android base, the whole Magic Remote thing does work pretty well. When you get used to it, it's actually a less fun way of navigating through the TV's functions, and voice commands make that task even easier. Recommend me an action movie. These are the results from action movie. I hope you like what I found. There you go. And with the inclusion of LG's ThinQ AI, it's even easier to connect your home appliances to the NanoCell TV and turn them on through voice command. Best part about this, you don't even need to face the TV when you're doing this. Air purifier on. Seriously, this is the year 2020. This sort of convenience is expected. And before you even say anything, yes, I can have a conversation about the weather with the NanoCell TV. Hey LG, what's the weather tomorrow? 
Here's the weather for Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur will have rain on Thursday, 56% chance of rain Thursday, with expected rainfall 2 millimeters. Don't forget to take your umbrella. See? Even LG's AI cares for me. Oh, and on a side note, yes, screen mirroring is available for Android and iOS devices. However, if you're on iOS, you will need to be connected to the same network as the NanoCell TV. Otherwise, forget about it. So then with all that is said and done, the last question you're probably wondering in your head is, how much does this TV cost? Ah, yes, well, LG's NanoCell 8K TV is obviously not going to go for cheap. And to that end, this visually stunning piece of home entertainment technology goes for an eye-watering 21,999 ringgit. I know, I know, it's a lot of money, but look at it this way. Think of all the money you'll be saving from not going to the movies. Because why go to the movies at all when you can watch your movies on this TV? Eh, 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 eh? Anyway, folks, that has been our video of the LG NanoCell 8K TV. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want more videos like this, subscribe and do hit the bell button so you'll be notified for future videos such as this. Thanks for watching.